Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to all of you new. Hello and welcome. So today's video is kind of a special video. Well, at least I think so. And I have Oscar here with me for a reason. So to those of you new, Oscar is a full-bodied silicone baby and he is the Dwayne Awake number two by Claire Taylor. So let me say hello Oscar. There you go. Hi aunties. So um many of you that have been with me a while um of course know Oscar but I've had Oscar two and a half years now, I believe. So there are some, uh, some of you all plus, um, uh, plus friends and uh, anybody new that hasn't heard Oscar's full story and, uh, or his, like how I got him. So I thought I would share that with you all today. Oscar's gonna, take a little bit of a bottle while we chat but um before I get started I want to remind y'all now to go smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video um also in the link below um in the description below you will find a link to uh my Instagram if you'd like to follow me on Instagram as well as my channel membership if you'd like to become a member of the Pixie Squad and join my channel's exclusive membership. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can get started. So Oscar is, I've shared many times that he is like, my holy grail of the doll collecting. He is totally my dream silicone baby and yeah, that's it. He he just is. Um, but I didn't always have Oscar and I didn't start out with Oscar as a silicone. Now I'm not going to tell like my full how I got into doll collecting and my whole story with reborns because that would make this just too long but let's just um say that i actually started straight out in this hobby um with a silicone or ordering a silicone and then i got a couple secondhand reborns while waiting for that silicone because the silicone medium is what i happened upon first um when discovering these dolls and my first silicone baby was lovely. He was a preemie. He was a little peanut sculpt by Dawn Bowie. And he was done by Kristen Englert. His painting was absolutely beautiful. And he was an adorable little sculpt. Once I really got going and got on, onto Instagram and got onto YouTube and discovered you know, all the silicones that were out there, plus got to see these dolls in, in action, in motion, in other collectors' videos to see um, their movement and all that could be done with them. I realized very quickly as I, you know, researched into it that what I would want what my personal preference in a silicone doll would be, I felt at that time would be actually impossible for me. That it would just be way, way too much. And I was really, really enjoying the the reborns and really, you know, fast on, you know, doing the reborns. So I was really fine with that and um, I sold my little silicone and went on continuing, um, you know, collecting the reborns for a long while and still enjoying, um, 
photos and other collectors videos of these amazing silicone babies and while I watched enjoying you know others um silicones I I kind of got a feel for like exactly what I loved as far as like you know uh features and things like that in a silicone I saw that movement would be very important to me like fluid movement and stuff like that like I knew what was important to me um but still I just was in the headset like that's just never gonna happen for me because you know I did my research I looked at prices and um I felt like um silicones are expensive to begin with no matter kind of what type of silicone you're getting um so I didn't want to spend that kind of money for something that I wasn't going to be like a hundred percent happy with so you know I just was kind of satisfied with that we are going to change oscar's diaper and i have the little pants to this top um that for those of you that saw my uh quincy may haul my other things came in too by the way but um that's for another time but i am gonna switch you all down so you can just see oscar get changed real quick and then I'll pick him back up. So these little pants, the little scuffs came out just fine. I hand washed them and hung them. All right, so finally I caught my break. You know, I stayed in the Reborn, it's very happy. And finally I caught my break. A collector uh, was letting go of an Elena Westbrook uh, sculpt uh, the little Mishka and the artist that uh, completed the baby it was considered a boo-boo baby because it was that artist's first go at um, painting a silicone uh, uh, a, uh, ethnic uh, skin tone um, so the artist you know wasn't pleased you know or just, you know, didn't feel like that was their best work in any way. So, you know, sold the doll at a really, you know, good discount. And then the collector that sold him to me, sold her to me, um, you know, even lopped a couple hundred off of that. So um, that silicone was under $2,000, which, you know, for the sculpt alone went for more than that. Like the kit alone went for more than that so it was an extremely good deal um you know and so that's what I did and she was adorable and I was she had like f the fluid movement I the silicone was really nice um she was a ball jointed neck um I didn't mind the imperfect painting I prefer a, a baby so I liked the, the coloring on her and you know she had the open mouth so she could take you know I could role play she could take the the um, bottle and the posse so I was able to have fun and do the things that I wanted to do with a silicone and that fluid movement was really really important to me so Oh, before I get Oscar's pants on, I'll show you a little bit with his movement. So when you pick him up. Now, Oscar is a one-piece pour. So he's got the, you know, the neck that is just, you know, he's all in one piece. His neck wrinkles and turns from side to side. And you see all the wrinkles like a baby. And, um, you know, when you lift him, I'm going to support his head, but you can see it's like picking up, you know, a baby. He has a spine, uh, he has a tongue, gums, uvula, he has a drink and wet, he has the squishy tummy, the wrinkly skin, um, he's, he's one of Claire's addition babies, so there, he's one 
out of five of his sculpt worldwide. And he's done in Claire's, you know, premium uh, silicone for her edition baby. So, you know, he's got all the bells and whistles. But back to the little Elena Westbrook sculpt, like she was adorable and I could have fun and do videos and, you know, I was enjoying her. And then, you know, once you step into the world of silicones, you start to connect and, you know, meet more people um, from that end of the collecting and, you know, learn a lot more and, you know, eventually babies, you know, come up um, when you're networked in with people. And um, so a Claire Taylor came up and he was a little boy, um, one of Claire's edition babies, one of her older editions, um, but he was AA gorgeous, you know, um, ethnic skin tone painting, very, very beautifully uh, painted doll. Um, he wasn't a drinking wet, um, and he was the ball jointed neck, but just very beautiful doll. And, um, you know, he was a little bit older, but I just, I had admired him and, uh, you know, seen him on YouTube and all that. And, um, my friend that was selling him, you know, was being quite reasonable on his pricing. So, um, or very, and so it wasn't that much further of a stretch per se than the Elena Westbrook baby. So in selling the Elena Westbrook baby, um, then all I had to do from there, it was almost, it's almost like a dolly savings. Then I added to that, you know, to get him, to get the Claire Taylor doll. And I loved him. He did come in at a time, it was late 2018, um, because I think it was around Thanksgiving time. And I was having the my spine was so bad and I had went in for the emergency spine surgeries um, that December. So I didn't get a lot of time to really, you know, um, do a whole lot with him when after the holidays was that actually was when I first saw Oscar. Um, so another collector, a friend of mine, had Oscar. She had adopted him from another mommy, and she had him there and sent me a picture because she kind of knew my, my taste in <laughs> babies. And when I saw Oscar for the first time, because at that time I wasn't that closely, like, following um, Claire Taylor. Like, I knew the Dwayne it um, edition existed, but I hadn't seen all of the, you know, the Dwayne's or anything like that. So I had no idea that this little man existed. I laid eyes on a photo of him and I said, oh my gosh, that is my son. That is my silicone boy. That is my son. He is everything that I, you know, checks off all of my boxes and then some because look at this face look at you know so I prefer babies with open eyes so he had the open eyes my overall preference is the ethnic skin tone or a skin tone he has that my overall preference is the boys and he is a boy and um at at that point i was you know watching a little bit more closely now that silicones had become obtainable to me in a certain way and i really was like oh i would just love to you know be able to have that that one piece pour and um you know claire was you know newer new more newly doing the one piece pour and all that stuff 
And then I was, Oscar, I was like next in line to get Oscar when that mommy sold him on. But just as I was going, preparing to get him, um, his, the previous mommy had stepped up and missed him so much and wanted him back. So he wound up because overall she really had first right of refusal. So he wound up going back to her and that was a devastating blow. Let me tell you something. I was, I mean, I know they're just dolls and I know it's just a hobby and all, but I was like, felt like I was like losing my child I was adopting. <laughs> like it was really hard on me. And um, so my friend there had a Caden. So uh, Caden was also, she was the bonus baby. So she was rather new. She was also in the one piece pour. She had the spine, the drink and wet. You know, she had also all the bells and whistles. And she was absolutely adorable. Um, she was Caucasian, but, you know, I still like a variety of babies. And I really, you know, loved her as well. So I wound up getting the Caden. So the, you know, other Claire Taylor dollar got sold. And then I added to that. So little by little, it's kind of how you, you, you build, you know, starting somewhere at a starting place with a baby that, you know, you know, you would, um, enjoy. And, I would have probably been content with that Elena Westbrook baby if other opportunities hadn't just kind of come up. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to make sure that you were, are starting with a baby that, because like my, like my theory was like if I am not going to be able to get something that I really want that's going to make me happy, then why bother, you know, spending it at all? But yeah, I was definitely content with the little Alina Westbrook baby, but it just, you know, fate happened and, you know, how it goes in this hobby. So I got Caden and I adored her. Um, I had named her Tatum and, oh, she just, you know, she felt like Oscar. She just, oh, she felt so good. Claire's, you know, painting is just phenomenal. Her, there is nothing like Claire's edition babies. I mean, oh my gosh, she was absolutely amazing. Um, this little piece of me, of course, still longed for Oscar, still longed for, you know, a boy and all that, but um, I was definitely thoroughly enjoying um, Tatum, my Caden. You can go back in my videos from around that time. So that would have been early 2018. Um, you know, she she was amazing. And then out of the blue, I get a message. And it was Oscar's previous mommy. The mommy that had, had gotten Oscar back. And lo and behold, she had gotten Oscar back because I believe she went on an endeavor for a baby girl that maybe didn't pan out. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might have had something to do with it. Um, but little did I know that her ultimate and what she wanted was a little girl and she was wanted exactly what my Caden was um she preferred the redhead she wanted a Caucasian little girl um and she happens to be African-American so it was just so funny and you know she had Oscar there which is exactly what I wanted. My immediate response when she messaged me, I was like, oh my gosh, I just got this Caden. I love her so much. I, I 
I kind of basically said no, like just not thinking because, you know, I was still on the cloud nine of getting this Caden. Less than an hour, I was messaging her. I, you know, got off the message and I thought to myself, are you kidding me? That's your son there. You can bring your son. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, okay. You know, I messaged her back and I was like, yes, yes, yes. You know, she wanted to set up a trade because the babies were, um, for the most part, equal in value. They were the exact, you know, same thing except different, if that makes sense. But um, now Oscar's armatures had broken, so I knew his armatures uh, were broken. The Cadence were not. I'm actually, I don't mind that his armatures and one of his leg armatures, because he had arm and leg armatures, but I like the floppiness of his arms as opposed to the armatures make them stiff and in one spot and more robotic when you move them so I actually discovered with his armatures because they they weren't working bef before he came to me but that I actually like them I do like the elbow armatures my my willow uh awake has the elbow armatures and those I like because then you could keep the arm there you know you can you get posability without any stiffness but um it's so easy to pose Oscar and if you want their arm up you can just put the blanket or a little lovey under it or stick them in a little pot or something I mean it's so easy to pose them so it's really just no big deal so so yeah so this trade was like the grandest thing like everybody like Every, every like Claire Taylor fan and all my friends like everybody kind of knew that that this trade was you know happening and it happened really really quick but you know once the buzz once word got out and normally folks I would never ever suggest a doll trade um even with reborns and stuff, it's a risky thing and you really, really, really should know somebody um, like that well. And even then, I'm just, I'm not actually a fan of trades, but there was this really odd sense of um, calm and peace and, you know, this this collector, you know, knew my friend personally. In fact, she, I guess, lived close enough because Oscar was physically handed off by person back to her. You know, so my friend had met her in person and everything. And you're talking about when somebody is in the community, in the hobby for a long time, and a very, very reputable, you know, buyer and seller of, you know, large amounts here you know flying around you know that the people you know feel more comfortable and you know just speaking to her she was just the most wonderful woman I just to this day um I adore her I haven't spoken to her in a long long time and I don't think she's quite really in the hobby anymore but um Really, she just couldn't have been a sweeter woman. And everything was on point. You know, we made the final, tied up the loose ends and made the final deal. And we both had those babies packed that night. We were both simultaneously sending each other pictures. And like here I had this pile of clothes on the bed, you know, all wrapped up and everything for Caden. And, you know, she was letting me know, you know, what she was sending Oscar. And it was like they both worked out. It was like to be like the same thing. And it was just so nice. We actually wound up the next morning going to the post office at the exact same time and that wasn't planned because I was actually supposed to go a little bit later um but I just got done what I had to do and went 
So we literally, like within 10 minutes of each other, had gone to the post office and get this, sent the pictures of the receipts with tracking, and I sent her cadence and I didn't realize because I after a few minutes I was like oh could you send me the tracking and she's like oh I did um uh, if you didn't get it I'll send it again and she sent it again but I realized no she did well the boxes weighed exactly the same and the cost of shipping was the it wasn't the exact cents but it was the same exact amount of dollars so it was down to the dollar. So I thought the receipt she sent me was just my receipt up there because the weight, the, everything was the same on it. Like that's how like perfect and exact everything wound up. And I truly did not have anxiety. I was very comfortable, you know, in my gut told me all was, all was good, all was well. And sure enough, Oscar's package arrived and I will put a link to his box opening in the description below um, For those of you that would like to go and see Oscar's box opening. I was very calm. I was very just serene and I Just kept saying like I'm so calm and everything is just right as rain I it was just a feeling that I have never had with any other doll before him or even since him that was that right that meant to be and that I was just it in bliss just so blissfully happy everybody could see it you know friends were making videos for me and everybody was so excited to see how much i love this baby and let me tell you something everybody loved Caden for the little bit of time she was with me and you know on your the channels like you know she was a beautiful doll and everybody loved seeing her get fed and changed and everything so I was like, oh Lord, this happened so fast, you know, in two days, you know, with, with, or within three days, there I am with this box of a new baby and having to announce to, to all of you, you know, to all my viewers that Caden had left. And normally, because I had experienced it with the, one of the other Claire Tal Taylor dolls before like people were angry <laughs> with viewers that were which I, it's not the right thing to do but neither here nor there like people get like attached to they see a dot you know a doll they love seeing on your channel and well they get a little upset you know so I was like oh my lord here I am announcing you know Caden's left and um but as I said that, and I had Oscar's box there, and I said, but, I, I let me tell you all something. I said, when you all see this baby, any of you that have been with my channel that are following me, that might, you know, be like, oh, Caden's gone. I said, when you all see this baby, you will very much understand why I, you know, let Caden go and why this baby is here you know why i did a trade and uh, sure enough i got not one negative comment about the fact that kaden had left every single person that have followed my channel had known because i made it known a lot like what i loved in a baby and and that you know i was so partial to boys and that i really adore my AA babies that my overall preference is AA and and boy and of course open eyes the Caden was open eyes but you know um so that's it that's Oscar's journey home to mommy and you know there was that time when you know his 
his other mommy had taken him back, I said, oh my gosh, she missed him so much that she brought him back. He's got to be a forever baby for her. I, I figured there was no chance. He was just, he was gone. You know, I was upset. But always in the back of my head, like, I was just like, oh, God, that baby belongs with me. But I just really felt like, oh, you know, like, deep down, I don't know if I knew that somehow, some way, he would, you know, be here with me. But I just knew that he belonged to me even if I never got him. <laughs> that he was out there and that he was, he belonged to me. And that's how I feel. There's just the magic, the the level of, you know, for those of you that ha have been there already or that view the silicone dolls as like the holy grail of the collecting and, you know, it's a feeling you can't describe. Michelle, my dear friend Michelle, is, you know, just experiencing that for the first time with little Nell or Alice, Alice Grace. Um, and, you know, we talk and she's like, you know, I just, she's describing all these things and she's like, I know I don't sound nuts because I know you understand, but it's like something that you, it's like that you can't describe. Like you're, you're hit with things that you just don't expect because you hear other collectors talking about this, right? It's something that you hear other collectors talk about and you like kind of almost think like, oh, it's a little nutty or just, you know, it, you just, you know, you, you, but yet it's all in the back of your mind. So when it happens, you're like, ah, oh, that's what everybody's talking about. You, it's like, ah, oh, the light bulb goes up. Yeah, oh, you get it. You get it. Um, and yeah, it's just an absolutely amazing feeling. Look at his face. Look at his face. I mean, this is my son. He's just, this is my boy. <laughs> and here we are two and a half years later. And just my, let's just say attachment to this doll just keeps growing and growing and growing. Um, you know, I'm a collector that I do tend to get bored easy. I, you know, move on. You know, the painting's been fun because now I can just paint different sculpts and, you know, do new things and it's exciting. Um, but Oscar never gets old to me, never bores me, never, I, I just, it's just like the magic of the day that I got him, and it's like a, there's a baby in the house, um, it's just what it feels like, and it's just an amazing feeling, so I hope to all of you, it's something beautiful to see when you recognize that in another collector, and you just see how happy they are with the baby or babies that they have. Um, and you, you see that really special, like they have that really special one that is just different. Um, I, I really just, I recognize it immediately when I see it because it's like you, you, you know the feeling and it's like you feel like you're, you're sounding nuts if you were like talking to somebody else that doesn't know, but you know, it's just awesome. And just when I, when I shop, when I, everything I do, I always have Oscar in mind, you know, um, he's definitely my go-to baby. It's also exactly what I wanted as far as a silicone. I wanted to be really happy with that baby and have my silicone baby as like my go-to baby. Um, and still have, you know, a collection of um, Reborns and even other silicone dolls, but to just have that one really special go-to baby. And I do, I have that. So just makes me really happy and it makes me really happy to see that for all of you. If you're not there yet, 
um, somehow, some way, you're going to get there. And don't forget, we're going to probably talk about this in the next video, that all of our personal preference, uh, budgets, you know, our taste and everything is different. So what might be the ultimate to, say, me, is not necessarily going to be the ultimate for you. There's a lot of collectors out there that, that wouldn't like Oscar and that wouldn't trade the baby they have there for Oscar or any other baby, you know? We're all, that's what is amazing about this hobby is, you know, we all have our different, you know, preferences and stuff, so. Anyway, I chewed your all ears off, but we're gonna talk about that some more in another video about reaching your goals, getting to your dream baby if you, you know, haven't reached that place yet how you can realistically do that. And in this hobby, never say never. And patience and sticking around. And also one thing before I let y'all go that I will say, besides give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And again, don't forget to go and subscribe. Um, but one thing that I will say is never say never in this hobby when you stick around and even if you say oh i could never afford that you know that's just not because i would have like gotten pissed at you a couple years ago if somebody kept saying that to me i would have said you don't understand my situation you don't live you know i'm telling you it is just not possible you don't get it that's what i felt that's where i was at you know but you know, little by little, um, things happen and sticking around and, but that did not stop me from enjoying everyone else's silicone babies and, um, sharing in their joy. And that in turn taught me so much about what I really did and didn't want and what my preferences in silicone would be. Um that made the ultimate decision easier to, to, you know, to get there. You know what I'm saying? Which wouldn't have been if I just said, oh, well, I'm just not looking at a silicone doll. I can't have that caliber of doll, everything I want in one. I'm just not going to look at anybody else's, you know. I was never, I never felt jealousy. I mean, past, like, of course, like, oh, I would love to have that doll. But other than that, yeah, you just, you know, go on and enjoying, enjoying what you do have in the moment. And I always did and I always have. I started out in the same place most of us started out. Secondhand, pretty inexpensive reborns, you know, it's. You know, and I enjoyed every single doll that has ever come in and out of my nursery to the fullest at the time. So live in the here and now um, and enjoy the hobby and as you go along because life is in the journey, not in the final destination anyways. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Take pride. Make your doll personal to you um have fun take photos make videos if you make videos and you know really love the babies that you have um you know like i said i i truly always did love every single one and at that point in my journey was enjoying each doll that i had and i think that that made a difference and what just kept me calm and in the hobby and making friends and networking around that got me to this place if that makes sense all right everyone i have definitely chewed your ear off a long time this time if you're stuck in here till the end well thanks for sticking in here till the end and i hope you enjoyed seeing oscar in my arms i love looking at oscar in my arms which is probably why i have on extra 
And if you're still here and you are not a part of the Pixie Squad, I'm telling you right now, do not miss out um, sharing my entire journey behind the scenes in now new to painting reborns. Um, it's everything behind the scenes, exclusive live streams. There's lots of other perks. It's $1.99 a month. It's all inclusive. You can cancel it at any time. You must be 18 years or older to join. But for less than the price of a cup of coffee, folks, come on in. Buy me a cup of coffee as your host. And let's have some fun. We have a lot of fun in there. So I hope to see you all in there. There's always a link in the description below. Or you can click the blue join button next to subscribe. So definitely comment below. Tell me about your dream silicone baby or real born whatever your dream babies are are you there or do you do you like identify with what i'm talking about are you not there but hoping to get there where are you at in your journey in dolly collecting all right oscar and i will see you next time god bless